Hi all, welcome to today's video. In this video, we will explore how to utilize ChatGPT for generating open API specifications. API documentation is crucial for managing and sharing APIs easily. The open API specification is like a language for describing web APIs. It is usually written in files using either JSON or YAML formats. These files contain important information about an API like what it does, how to use it, authentication and more details. But making these files can be tough and time consuming. That's where ChatGPT comes in. ChatGPT uses its language skills to make things easier. You can just explain your API in plain language and ChatGPT will turn it into the API specifications. Here is an example of a YAML file that describes a simple service using open API specification. But creating this kind of files by hand can take a lot of time and effort. If you see here, this specification has a lot, lot of details about the API, the title, description, version, then what kind of servers used, uh, also the paths and the endpoint, um, each path details like summary, description, what kind of parameters, request and response, so all those details are defined in this specification. It helps you to define the API and also you can easily share and manage the APIs. Now let's see how to use ChatGPT prompt to create these kind of API specification quickly. So let me show the prompt. If I go here, this is my sample pro prompt. So just it says, hey, please generate an open API. Uh, I'm specifying YAML, but even it can be JSON. Uh, definition uh, with this following details. Also, I want ChatGPT to create a separate object for the request and uh, response. Also, I want uh, the sample values to be used. Uh, then API title, API description, uh, then other detail like contact name and contact email. Also, you can specify multiple API servers. Um, here I am defining production and staging. Also, I am right now using only one endpoint like path, um, search, then what is the endpoint, uh, method, then what is summary, um, keeping description, what are all the query parameters I can define. Also, the authentication, I am going to use uh, bearer token authentication for this API. Also, I did not given the schema, but I given the simple uh, request body and the response. Even you can specify the schema also with the example. Also, you can define more details like tags and other any details required. Also, you can copy this and you can create more uh, endpoints if required. So, what I will do is let me copy this and go to chat GPT. So, I will just paste it here and give it. Yeah, the specification is getting created. That's fine. Now, just I can copy this. So maybe I will go and keep it in this test file. That's fine now. Now let's learn how to share the API specification and test it using Swagger UI. You can use local Swagger editor or online Swagger UI to design, define API specification. You can download the Swagger editor from here. Swagger API, Swagger editor. You can clone this repository. Then you can go to your command prompt. I already executed this npm install. So after that you can just execute npm start. This start a local static server in this URL. So if I go here. Okay, this is the swagger editor in my local. So you can see some sample API specification. You can even you can refer that. I go with my definition what we created. Copy and paste our sample specification to the Swagger editor. Let me do that. Now if you see the right side, the Swagger UI is enabled. So you can see all these details what we provided. Um, the API summary description, also the servers what we defined, the production and uh, the stage servers also you can authorize the endpoint uh, also the path details right the method uh, the endpoint the summary description again 
what parameters we are going to use it also the request body so you can specify even it has this example value uh, from the request side and response side also it defines multiple schemas um, so if you see the request schema uh, response context uh, then there is a result uh, schema so now you can even authorize here go here um, you can specify okay i already did it otherwise you can specify some bearer token value authorize now go and click on try it out here so you need to specify the query parameter so this is your sample request body but you can change it so then you can click on execute it will send the request to the actual api with this server detail and this endpoint and get the response in your my case it will fail because it's not actual api um, so but in uh, real example you will get the success or failure response the online swagger hub also can be used to create design manage and share the api specifications so if you see here i registered to this swagger hub so you have a free tier you can register it um, so now you can do lot of actions here because create new apis or you can import the api specification considering we are already having the api specification i'm going to import it so click on this now browse so i have the test file yaml select it open upload so you can change this definition if you want but otherwise import definition yeah now if you see here the same one the editor so on the online version so with all these details you can do all the same operations so also what you can do is you can even um, share this API uh, to the team, right? Like with uh, the online URL app dot uh, dot com. Um, this is the API uh, URL. You can copy and share. Also, even you can invite other team members to collaborate um, into this API. Another option to share the API is through Confluence. The Swagger UI can be integrated into Confluence through various Swagger plugins available. And the UI can be embedded into the Confluence page and shared with different teams. As a first step, enable one of the open API integration plugins from the Confluence marketplace. Click on account, manage account. Then go to connected apps. So you can see Atlassian marketplace. Click on that. So maybe search with open API. now you can see multiple plugins i'm going with the, this one so click on this maybe try it for free now so, yeah you need to log in yeah this one is okay start free trial okay start it you can enable some of the configurations if required but let me go and use it. I will go here. Now create a document. Fine. Now add the plugin. So go here. So click on view more. So search for open API. So you can find this uh, plugin. If not available, just to refresh this page. So it will be um, select that insert. Now it's fine. You can even copy paste the specification or from a Git repository. Even you can specify the URL. So let me copy and paste it. So I will go to my specification. This is fine. This is fine. Insert it. Yes. Now this Swagger UI is embedded into the Confluence page. So you can publish this Confluence page and share with teams. So they can use this Swagger UI to test and review the API specification. Also, the API specification file can be imported into tools that supports open API specification. Example, Postman. Also, most of the API gateway supports open API specification. Even you can use additional prompts to improve your specification. So for example, I specify two additional prompts to improve the specification. Um, you can even write more additional prompts. Sometimes the generated file may have validation errors. 
the errors can be posted to ChatGPT to get the updated file. To wrap things up, we have learned that API documentation is crucial and the open API specification helps to standardize it. Also the ChatGPT is your helpful tool in simplifying the documentation process. The ChatGPT assists you to generate the basic doc documentation specification. The same can be extended based on your need. Thanks all for watching this video. See you all in next video.